Belgians hunt books, not Bulbasaurs. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato of MediaMonarchy.com with a special loud-ass, bright-ass outdoor version of Good News Next Week. We've got that story, plus private disaster relief. But first, women find chivalrous men more attractive. A new study in the British Journal of Psychology found that altruistic men have more sex. The researchers asked unmarried Canadian adults how much how much they did good deeds like giving money to charity or helping someone get their car out of the snow. They then asked the participants how often they had sex and how many partners they've had. Men who reported more altruistic acts had more sex and more partners. Now, of course, we can break apart any of these bits of research as we've spent a lot of time on New World Next Week talking about how you can't always put your faith in all the research that comes out. However, this is another just sort of simple way, and this article from Business Insider goes on to cite one, two, three other studies that basically say the same thing, and that's a lot of what we've talked about here on Good News Next Week. When you do good, you feel good. And when you're doing good, you feel good, and other people are going to feel good about you as well. So it's a pretty simple thing to know that doing good makes you attractive and makes you more confident. Our cover story this week is a fantastic fun one tweeted at us by our buddy at Eric Moshe. Belgians hunt books, not Bulbasaurs. Inspired by the success, of course, of Pokemon Go, a Bulbasaur is Poke Monster number one. I, of course, had to do a little research and look up as we were going to make this clever title for your good news next week for the week of August 29th, 2016. Inspired by the success of Pokemon Go, a Belgian teacher developed an online game for people to search for books instead of cartoon monsters, attracting tens of thousands of people in just a couple of weeks. Aveline Grigoire's version is played through a Facebook group called Chasseur de Livres, Book Hunters. Players post pictures and hints about where they've hidden a book and others go hunt them down. Once you finish reading the book, you release it back into the wild. Grigoire is now contemplating taking the game a step further and just creating an app for it, which sounds fantastic, and that of course would be the way to take it off of the controlled Fedbook platform and be able to feed it out to everybody else. I love the idea of doing some kind of scavenger hunts, and I've even thought about doing those type of things here in the Portland metro area for Media Monarchy and alternative news fans. If you got any ideas or any schemes on any sort of scavenger hunts for good news next week we could do you can always tweet me using hashtag good news next week or i am readily available james at media monarchy.com our last main story this week private disaster relief in louisiana outperforms the government's saving lives saving property louisianans were hit with what meteorologists dubbed the thousand year flood of course just 11 years after being destroyed by katrina as well but when the rain stopped this time the media stopped with the coverage but before the National Guard was ever deployed, members of the community rescued thousands of people from their homes instead of waiting idly by for the state to come save them. People of Louisiana used their own boats and formed a Cajun Navy. The Cajun Navy is the name of the Facebook group that was formed in which people would post their GPS locations and within minutes community members in their boats were there to save them private effort undoubtedly is responsible for saving the lives of thousands of people, not to mention all the livestock, not to mention all the pets as well. An interesting related story to that, a new organization is restoring photos damaged in natural disasters. So we'll include that in the show links, just like we include everything we say and play down in the show notes. And we hit some of our other hashtag good news next week headlines is underwater agriculture, the future of food production as we stay underwater a little bit. We mentioned for you a couple weeks ago on the Morning Monarchy, of course, our daily live morning news broadcast, 9 a.m. Pacific time, every weekday morning, Monday through Friday at MediaMonarchy.com slash listen. We had reported about Scottish football fans flying the Palestine flag to screw with the Israeli team when they were playing soccer. Fans actually got fined for doing that, saying it was some sort of unlawful banner. But what have they done, and what has the Scottish Football Club done in response? They did a GoFundMe, and they matched that fine, and they turned around and gave all of that money to Palestinian medical causes. So that's putting their money where their mouth is, and that's some good sports ball news I can get behind. Speaking of teamwork, another study shows music at work increases cooperation and teamwork. And the drug war. EpiPen maker stock value, stock value plummeted $3 billion in five days 
as the story of the EpiPen price gouge went viral. And for more on that story and its connections to not only my home state of West Virginia, but of course Crooked Hillary and the Clinton Foundation, go check out last week's episode of New World Next Week. UK undercover cop abandons the aforementioned war on drugs with a pretty impressive article in The Guardian saying, I've done some pretty bad things. Our last couple of headlines give you your weed in week on Good News Next Week. 2016 ballot measures could nullify marijuana prohibition in eight states, and the first hemp crop has been planted in Maine as they are going full on nullification in Rhode Island. And right here in Oregon, the state has collected $25.5 million in marijuana tax already in 2016, and we're only nine months in. I wonder if some other states could possibly use some of that tax money off a plant that their creator left here for them to use. If you've got fantastic good news ways that we are winning in solutions oriented stories, I'd love to hear about them. Hashtag good news next week. Or if you are not on the tweets, don't do it. You can just email me, james at mediamonarchy.com. I really appreciate you watching these good news next week episodes. And I apologize again for another Frankie the Catless episode here outside. But we'll be back next week with more Good News Next Week. This has been episode 31, I believe, of Good News Next Week for the week of August 29th, 2016. I'm James Evan Pilato of MediaMonarchy.com reminding you, as always, my friends, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care. Yeah.